Hello, I'm going to demonstrate how to conduct a raffle using Marlowe. So a raffle is a simple contract where a sponsor deposits funds, a random oracle chooses one of the participants in the raffle, and then the funds are awarded to the raffle based on that randomness. So in this example, we have three participants, but in a more realistic raffle, you could have hundreds, or even thousands, or even millions, actually. Um, and so we do have to modify this a little bit to fit it on the blockchain. You can't put a contract with millions of uh, blocks in it in um, the blockchain as it stands. What we do is we'll break it up into Merkleized continuations. And to do that, we're going to make a hierarchical set of when clauses so that we're using whens to kind of search for who the actual winner is. I'll show you that a bit later. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to write a Haskell program um, that generates the contract. And this is pretty simple. Um, what it does is we read the data from the command line. We make the contract, which is simply making the deposit, selecting the winner, and then paying the winner. Making the deposit is quite simple. It's just the sponsor depositing ADA into their own account. Similarly, selecting the winner is just the random oracle making a choice between the number one and the number of participants. And then um, paying the winner is a little bit more complicated. So what we do is um, we have a special number called size. In this example, it's going to be five. That's the maximum number of case blocks we can have in a when in this example contract. So um, if the number of parties in the contract is less than the size, five, then um, for each of those, we're going to create a case clause that basically says if the oracle chose their number, um, their integer, then um, they will be paid. And so this is a, a list comprehension in Haskell, and um, it'll create the um, up to five case clauses. So now, um, what if you had 10 or 100 or 1,000? We're going to split things up hierarchically. So um, if it's too many, um, greater than five, what we're going to do is actually break the list of parties up into chunks, into five chunks. And then we will, um, for each of those, figure out which chunk the winner is in. And then we call recursively this pay winner that we've defined here. And that will just keep recursing until we get down to this case where people actually get paid. So uh, we're writing that program. We have a couple of constants we need, uh, just the ADA value of Loveless and some time constants. We'll use the pre-production network and um, we'll grab some keys for the sponsor. There's their address. And for the Oracle, there's its address. And then normally we would have a big list of participants that were given to the contract when we create it. But um, in this case, I'm just going to create those addresses programmatically. I will give them staking credentials. And in this example, we're just going to do 125. And um, so we'll just create all those keys. And um, here are the 125 addresses. And now we're going to set the deadlines. Uh, we'll look at the clock. The contract needs to be funded in the next hour. Um, the random selection made within the second hour, and then the award by the third hour. And in a realistic contract, this could be weeks or months or whatever. And then um, just for this example, we're going to use 100 test data. I mentioned before we're going to do a five-fold split on things. And so it turns out if we have 125 participants and we're doing a five-fold split, there'll be um, three levels deep um, in that contract. So here we're creating the contract. And then because of the ledger rules, we need to put some minimum um, ADA value in the contract when it's created so it has some ADA. We'll use Marlowe to initialize the contract. Um, 
and just bundle the information in this file, marlow1.json. And then um, the sponsor will submit the transaction. So there we go. There it is confirmed. So now the sponsor can deposit funds. They'll prepare that transaction and submit it. And we'll just wait there. This is a Plutus transaction, so it's using a little bit of memory in a few steps. So that confirmed very quickly. And then we're actually going to um, go to random.org. This is a very reliable and well-known random number generator. And these are truly random numbers. They're not pseudo-random numbers like are used uh, most often. So they use um, physical systems to generate the randomness. So we're just going to make a call there um, and ask for a number between one and the number of participants. It was 85. And um, then we will um, prepare this transaction. So the Oracle is taking that randomness and then going to inject it into the contract. And then we'll submit the transaction and wait. OK, there it is. I should say you can look at all these on Cardano scan. We'll do that in a minute. The, um, the next step is to walk the hierarchy of the search for the winner in the contract, because we have these layers of when clauses and cases within those, forming sort of a tree. And it turns out the depth of this tree is the base five logarithm of the number of participants. And that happens to be three. And what we're going to do is we're going to iterate over this. We'll prepare a notification and then we'll submit it. And um, we'll do that three times. And by the third time, we'll actually get down to the actual winner. So we'll execute this and we'll just kind of watch what goes on. Here's the first notification. There's the second notification. And the third notification, you can see because we're at the bottom of the hierarchy, this is actually making the payments. So there's one payment of the 100 ADA to the actual winner. And then um, the sponsor gets back their two ADA that they deposited in the contract originally. And we'll just wait for this to be confirmed. There's the confirmation. And then we'll take a look to see if the funds were awarded. So here's the address of the winner. Um, we just looked up the uh, appropriate number and the list of selections. And then you can see they have the 100 ADA. So um, basically, the contract executed. Um, we obviously have to trust the Oracle, as you have to trust any Oracle. But um, beyond that, the co contract was automatic and made the payment. Let's take a look at Cardano scan. So here's the transaction. And um, you can see the 100 ADA going to the winner. And um, you could actually follow these back. This is the contract address. Um, take a look at the previous transaction and kind of walk back up the tree. So anyway, that's a raffle in Marlowe.